person right here who we thought was going to win the IWM Women's Championship last night in Milton Keynes. She had carried it for long enough, but she didn't get it, as we can see. Yeah, as we can see right now, Harley Hood, Haley J, took the title from the lady who thought she was the rival champion. The angry here at the her face, Ricky. She doesn't look happy at all. I mean, I don't blame her necessarily. Because she's not champion. For the first time, she hasn't had the belt since we first re unveiled it. You have to win it. To be in it, you've got to win it. And this is a number one contenders match. I mean, I think you've done right by her, essentially. You've given her another opportunity. Well, she was 3 0 before, before we walked into Parade of Champions, and she's now 3 1. And she Your has got. Sound is she is the radioactive one. She has got Ricky, one of the most exciting up and coming wrestlers in the UK right now, making waves across the right promotions, making her debut for us at the Black Box. As Nelson said, that's radioactive Sapphire Reed. And that is a hell of a moment, a hell of an opportunity for Sapphire Reed to come in on her first match here and possibly get herself a world title opportunity. Like you've always said about IWN, it is the land of opportunity. It's the right? land of opportunity, and we do invite the absolute finest professional wrestlers across the world. We got someone from France, a regular for us, and someone from local. Yeah, South East London. Exactly. Probably took about 55 minutes to go today. Not too far, is it? Not too bad. 8:21. It's a nightmare sometimes on a Friday. Yeah, I can imagine. It is a Friday. It is. She's telling her to lay down. Oh, Sapphire. She's now. Well, Kira Kamura completely disrespecting Sapphire Reed there. Completely disrespect saying lay down because I've known you since you were first training. How old is this Sapphire Reed? Yeah. Give me some stats. Give me some stats. <laughs> That's a very formal request. She's 20 years old. She's from South East London. Got about five foot four, six years in the business. Trained by the Red Pro School in London. So he's given a bit of experience to Kira. Heights roughly the same. Kira the attitude's certainly not the same. No, no, Kira is undefeated. I was going to say the exact same thing. She's been undefeated, so this has been happy hunting ground. First time in Milton Keynes. Unfortunately, she's got her first blemish. She's going to look to keep that Hastings streak going. If she does, she will possibly get a crack at the idea of women's champion in the future, who at the moment, as we have said and seen already, Hollywood Hayley J, who will be defending later on in this broadcast. Where is Kira Kamir is leaving? She's leaving. Which going? Oh, it was a mistake oh, by Kira Kamir. Oh my goodness! She put herself in the drop zone, Billy. She was not expecting no, that. No, she wasn't. I thought she was. Uh, thought she was going to leave. She says she's already the number one contender and doesn't want to feel she has to earn her way. But I'm afraid she does. Do you think, Ricky? The after effects of Parade of Champions will be playing on Kira Kamara tonight. Well, you saw how angry she was when she came out. Well, look at the ferocity she just put Sophia Reed into that ring post with. She's clearly not happy at all. She doesn't even feel she should be in this contest. She feels like this should be a basic walkover and she should be back in the title hunt already as it is. Well, as we know, and she should be these matches were set before Parade of Champions. Whoever walked out of that belt was going to face, like for example, tonight, Safari could have had a IWM Women's Championship match. But Kira was unfortunately unsuccessful. So, so Kira Kamira could have she'd have won, but she didn't. She, she and didn't. she did, She cost it herself. You were there with me. She cost herself. You think? Yeah, she did. She was trying to do it underhandedly. And it cost her. Hollywood Haley J took the advantage. I don't necessarily agree with smacking her over the head with a, was it a sock of rocks, was it? She hit her in over the head with. I didn't yeah. see that. I mean, did I see you, that? You, you've never seen oh. anything. If anything is controversial, you seem to miss it. Which is all because controversy does kind of follow you. Yeah. It does indeed, it is. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll find controversy everywhere. Plenty. And it's controversy it's certainly going on in the moment. Because Kira Kamira doesn't feel she should be in this contest, she feels she should be number one contender by default. Sophia Reed certainly has something to say about that. And Kira Kamira is finding out all about the radioactive one right here in the black box. Oh, 
six or seven shoulder thrusts wearing down Ooh. the woman who thought she was going to be queen of IWN following in the footsteps of Bobby Tyler but in the end it was Hayley J Sparry looking for the brain maker Taking Camaro to the outside. Oh, oh, kicking the chest! Did you hear that echo? <laughs> the walls of the black box. That was someone's chest cavity getting smacked about. Up she goes, two feet right to the back. And also driving the head of Camaro into the canvas. First serious pinfall of this contest. Shy of a three, but only just. Sapphire is impressing me here tonight, Ricky. I never agreed with, with, with Kira's stealing tactics of the IWM women's championship. Is that why you gave her a championship opportunity, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh that's the stunner! Oh, 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 First go. part of the stun buster! What turns hey, into a spear instead? She learned her mistake from yesterday! Oh, no and somehow, way. somehow Sapphire Reed gets out. That is normally the setup for the stun buster into that spine buster. She hit a spear yesterday. She couldn't pull off the stun buster against Hollywood Haley J. And she's obviously learned her mistake. She can't lose her call, Ricky. Well, she can't I mean, lose well, her this call. is the thing. She can't lose her call. Well, that was incredibly savvy from Kimera. She learned her mistake yesterday and tried to oh. put it into practice. Oh. No, you were not going to be. You're not going to be able to disrespect someone like Sapphire Reed and get away with that. Steamer! What a sound that Sophia Reed gave as good as she got right there! Number one contendership is on the line, we must oh. remember! She's going for a German suplex and she knows Kira come here with it! And the native of Brittany oh. France is in real, real trouble, a twister! And Kira Kamara is struggling even to get to her feet! Carol by Kamara! Shot to the back, driving to fiery down. That's it. Hooks the leg, hooks it very deep indeed. No, not enough. And this returns to a point about keeping your course. He's going to have to keep her cool at this stage. Go for the stunner again. Once Done again, it. here's the stunner. And she's going back to the spine buster. She hit it this time, Billy. She hit it. She got all of the stunt buster in the ring. No, oh. shoulder up, shoulder up. Tom Scarborough couldn't believe it. We can't believe it here either. I believe that is the first time someone has kicked out of the Stun Buster since Kira Kamira debut here in IWM. What has she got to do to put this fucking sapphire away? Well, that was her smoking gun, was it? That was her silver bullet. That's how she'd normally finish up an opponent. Oh, she's got the baseball guard. I didn't see it in her hand. She's a super kick by Kira. And oh. there's a shining wizard. Shining wizard for Sapphire Reed. Two. And we've got a new number one contender, and it's Sophia Reed. Sophia Reed, what an incredible debut. She has taken out someone who was pretty much at the top of the game here in IWN, and she is now the new number one contender, Billy. Straight to the top. Hollywood Haley J has got one hell, one hell of a contender on her hand.